Hello guys, it's Dilla London. As you can see, I have glitter in my hair, which means I am about to attend a music festival. I was kindly invited to go to Home Venice Festival. It's a festival that usually was organized in Treviso, dedicated to music and culture. And this year, for the first time, Venice is going to host this festival. The musicians I'm waiting for the most today are LP and Paul Kalkbrenner. So these are all of the accessories that I bought to wear at a festival. Let me know which one is your favorite. These are perfect for a festival. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. I've received my press pass and the bracelet. I gotta be honest, these are the things that make my heart beat faster from happiness. And I'm really excited to be here and I'm looking forward to see all of the performances today and tomorrow. Hey guys, I arrived to Home Venice Festival territory. It's an amazing park, some of the musicians are already performing and it's a great atmosphere. The Veneto region is famous for Aperol Spritz and it's where it's originally from and here they sell Aperol Spritz cocktails just for 4 euro I think that's very affordable. Give me two please. For that price I'll take two.
guys, I'm back in my room wearing my PJs already. Um, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> uh, this day was amazing, truly. Um, I really loved LP's performance. Her voice range is something out of this world. It is so powerful and so rich. I also liked a few of Italian singers' performances. And then, of course, Paul Kalkbrenner. I managed to get into the first row and the, everything was amazing about his performance and his music. He had basically installed a few cameras around him and they provided incredibly interesting artistic visuals that accompanied his performance that were synced to his music and that was very impressive. I also wanted to tell you about how at a certain point of uh, Paul Kalkbrenner's performance there was this guy, a young man, who in a very rude and unpolite way mm, made his way through the crowd to the first row basically pushing people and i don't know what exactly happened but he, when he was dancing his elbow was like right in front of my face so i was like like that actually trying to tell him like get your elbow off of my face then he probably hurt some people while he was getting to the first row basically i wanted to point out the amazing job the security guys did. They basically took him out, they took him to the area under the stage and then like let him go. And I think if they didn't do that he would have hurt somebody in some way because he was rude and there could have been a fight or something like that. So I think that's amazing. So these guys did an amazing job and uh, immediately I started to feel more safe in this festival's environment. And it's a thing that you will not hear from like um, official media like magazines or TV. It's a thing that only a person who was there can tell you. So that's why I decided to tell you about that. And again, music makes me so happy. There is no other word. Like sometimes I, I say music makes me high because of like this effect that it has over me. I am always in the present and paying attention to everything like sensitive hypersensitive but both like I don't mind crowds which I usually do I don't mind if I'm hungry which I usually do very much <laughs> I don't mind if I'm tired you know it's all worth it because it makes me so happy and this day again it was amazing and you know what I think? I think this festival is underrated internationally. I mean, there were a lot of local people, but not so much of international people. Please, like, check out the next edition. Uh, the lineup is actually great. And if I decide to divide vlogs from Home Venice Festival into two, into two parts, please watch the next one and subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you.